Okay, so the question I get asked usually the most is what has made AA Tech successful uh, over the course of the, the JV being formed? And it's probably what I get asked the most from anybody that's outside the JV is what, what makes it successful? And uh, I, I get really excited because the, the first thing I always start with is, is the people that are part of the organization and the people that have passed through, people that are still here and the resiliency and the continuous improvement and the focus and really the passion for the business that they all show um, in everything, quite frankly, they do. And I think it's really helped transcend and I'll say progress the JV from being a part supplier to really a partner that gets benchmarked um, by both GE and, uh, and Parker. And so it's, it's really exciting that all these different things that have come together uh, have really been because of the people that have been a part of this, this JV and are still part of this JV. Uh, over the last 10 years, it's been a lot of fun to see the teams grow from you know, simply just building a product for a customer order to designing new technologies, uh, implementing them into production, and then servicing them through the entire life of the product. And I think that's what makes this place really unique. One of the things that's kept me here for 40 years is the camaraderie and the sense of family in this organization. We've had a a lot of employees that have had difficulties along the way, whether it be fires or, or health issues, and time and time again, the workforce comes comes together for them, supports them, helps them financially, emotionally, in, in just a, a whole manner of different ways. I, you know, the, what's been really fun is to watch the evolution. I've been here for just over a couple years, and that evolution um, has been even in my time here from um, picking up new things that somebody says, hey, let's try this. We want to be able to add more value for, for a customer in, in GE. And we've taken on things from a, a additional R&D, you know, research and development to helping to support an aftermarket that continues to grow. All these different facets of the business where really coming into it, you know, it was an idea of how to do it and the team has just figured out how to turn that idea into a reality. Take advantage of the career opportunities and skill advancement and that the facility offers because they offer a lot. I think that that execution mindset of let's just go figure it out and do it in a way that is enjoyable. Um, you can see that people genuinely get along with everyone which you know you can get results but if you're not able to have the right atmosphere, whether it's, you know, being able to have, uh, you know, a, a, the famous clam bake every September where everybody can come back and, and you have retirees that, you know, you can tell how much this place meant to them when you have a turnout where 50% of the, uh, the employees that are there, or people that are there are former employees. Um, and, and I think all that kind of gets combined together to make AA Tech as successful as it has been and quite frankly it'll continue to be successful because of that. My most memorable moment here at AA Tech was on my very first day within the department. My trainer walked me around, introduced me to everybody and we got to the infamous Lena King who just looked at me and said well I hope you ate your Wheaties and laughed and walked away. but the Kaizen team helped other people become a final inspector that wouldn't have the chance to become a final inspector. I've been very fortunate throughout the course of my career to work on many great projects. Uh, the one that is the most memorable for me is working on the, uh, the leap ramp up. When we started that program 10 years ago, we could build two parts a day. Today, the teams can build over 175. And that came from 10 years of, of a lot of hard work, long days, long, long nights, long weekends, uh, and solving a lot of problems. But what it allowed us to do was achieve the uh, uh, greatest ramp in, uh, in aviation history. Uh, so just the fact that I got to play a small part in that uh, is something that uh, you know, I'll remember throughout the course of my entire career. And, and uh, I'm glad that I had the opportunity to be a part of that. And I've never seen a company that does more for families than they do here. They raise money for different events 
and they do a lot for families like sea breeze and clam baits and Christmas things for children. Our previous general manager, Dave Overholt, used to talk about how every two seconds uh, a plane uh, takes off with a GE engine. And because of the joint venture, it means that that engine now has AA Tech fuel nozzles. We're at the core of it.